our side of the story on the optimum cold dispute. We have these cost plus mines that require us to invest in capital expenditure in the mines um, that now we do not have money for and we do not have appetite for. What we have said to, uh, to the coal industry is that going forward we would like to get out of the cost plus arrangements whereby we commit capital to specific mines and are bound to those mines for up to 30 years. What happened at Optimum is that when we committed to the cost plus arrangement in 1983 already, the contract that was renewed in 1993, we were getting very good quality coal. But because we are now tied to that mine, when the quality of the coal deteriorates, we, do not, we cannot shift, we, cannot, we are inflexible. Uh, and the deterioration in the quality of the coal has been contributing to the, uh, to the performance of our generating equipment. In fact, has been damaging our generating equipment, which is why the Sunday Times says that I said that we would like to get white bread. Sorry, we don't want white unhealthy bread. We just want low GI bread. That was a metaphor. We would like to get very healthy coal for our, um, for our uh, plants. And I do not see uh, that the coal industry has an objection to us getting the correct quality of coal for our mines uh, and getting out of the cost plus arrangements. Uh, as I said also over the weekend, getting out of the cost plus arrangements, we're not interested in owning mines. We're not interested in contributing to the capital expenditure of the mines. We would like to buy coal from the supplier that can give us coal at the best price and not contribute to the capital expenditure. So that is why the Sunday Times says, I said we don't want to own the bakery, we just want the bread. Uh, we're not interested in how the baker bakes. And if we're not happy with the quality of the bread that is coming out of a specific bakery, we would like to retain the flexibility to move to a place where we can get good quality coal. Uh, I mean, the things with Optimum have happened over the years uh, that will still be explained by history one day, like the fact that uh, although the mine was a committed uh, cost plus mine, there was a period when the international price of coal was very good and coal, very good quality coal out of that mine was exported. Uh, without sharing the profits with ESCOM, despite the fact that it was a cost plus mine, uh, with uh, ESCOM having contributed to some of the capital expenditure to sink that shaft. Uh, so that is, a, that is a debate for another day. We will tackle that at some other point. But the source of the dispute is that the contract with Optimum still has two years to go. They are under contractual obligation to supply us with coal until 2018 at a particular price. And they are asking to be relieved of their obligation. And we are not in a position to relieve anybody of any obligation at the moment. You all have seen what happened to us at NERSA. The tariff increases that we requested for were not given. The tariffs that we're getting are not cost reflective. Uh, how do we then engage ourselves in the business of rescuing mines because uh, uh, Optimum is saying, look, we need to renegotiate this and we need to waive. They have got accrued penalties of two billion that they owe us for which we have issued summons because the two billion must be paid because they owe it to the taxpayer, to ESCO. Uh, so, uh, and we have already issued summons for this uh, and they would like us to waive the penalties and unfortunately, ESCOM's financial position and standing does not allow us to waive any penalties or to renegotiate contracts simply for the sake of rescuing a particular mine in Henrena because we are not in the business of the rescue of mines. That is for business rescue specialists. We will just pursue our obligations 
uh, that uh, we have in terms of South African law, uh, as well as all the debts that are being owed to us. How do we begin to say to so to residents that they must pay their debt and we can't get uh, optimum to pay the two billion penalties that they owe us? Uh, I think it is unfair to pursue poor people vigorously and, uh, and allow uh, optimum to get away with penalties that they owe ESCOM that are not being pursued. So that is our side of the story. We will pursue the penalties that are being owed to us. Uh, I know that uh, Optimum has issued a statement and said that uh, it's because of ESCOM that uh, they are in difficulties, but that is not true. It is because of the way that they have managed an existing contract and the way that they have managed their business that have landed them where they are. Uh, they cannot begin to blame uh, to blame uh, ESCOM for their woes.